Hi guys, good morning. Dr. Chris here, the Scrubby MD. Welcome to another video. Okay, na ngayon, medyo nasa ibang lugar ako. I'm currently not at home. Wala ako sa Tugaygaraw. Wala ako sa Kagayan. And, um, again, sabi ko nga, yung mga last streams, I will be rotating somewhere for my toxicology rotation. Ang kagandahan naman nito is, Pwede pa naman na mag-stream. Siguro agahan ko na lang. Tapos, i-upload ko na lang siya. Sometime in the day. Siguro lang mga lunchtime. Para at least meron din tayong content sa ating channel. Ang gusto kong i-discuss ngayon ay yung usapan tungkol dun sa recent rise or tick ng mga respiratory illnesses sa China. So, Magiging, uh, magiging bother, uh, bothersome ba yun? Or nakakabahala ba yun sa Pilipinas? Or what? Dito sa atin, kasi natanong din ng isang kaibigan ko kung nakakabahala ba yung pagtaas ng uh, respiratory illnesses. Now, kapag respiratory illnesses, sinatawag natin yun, pneumonia, upper respiratory tract, respiratory tract infection, rhinitis, conjunctivitis, di ba yan? Which is uh, similar to our traumatic experience with the COVID pandemic, di ba? So, Puna tayo sa post ng Department of Health sa Facebook. So, this is uh, lifted from their page. Ito. Okay, yan. Pasahin ko tayo. Okay. So, it, re it states in response to recent WHO pro procurement a uh, pronouncements rather in on heightening respiratory illnesses among children in northern china since mid-october 2023 we want to reassure our kababayans that as of now there is nothing to worry about so napansin kasi ng who that there were rap uh, rapid increase of cases of respiratory illnesses again in china but this uh Contrary to our concerns, <laughs> contrary by the term, uh, actually, uh, wala naman silang sinabi na if it's related to COVID or it's just uh, cases of respiratory illnesses kasi medyo malamig na ang panahon. Take note that uh, it started uh, to cool down. Medyo may ihip ng hangin na na, medyo, na malamig pag umaga. And in some areas, sa amin, sa Cagayan, in particular, it started uh, raining na for the past two days. For the past two days, na uh, especially nung bumiyahe ako, uh, medyo maulan talaga. Maulan ang biyahe, maulan din ang uh, pag ko doon. And thankfully naman sa napuntahan ko, um, fairly fair yung weather uh, I'm not sure kung fair yung weather Pero maliwalag naman Siguro makulimlim Relatively malamig na And some of my friends also In the northern uh, peak of uh, Luzon, Cagayan um, Sa Apayaw says na malamig na din doon Especially paggabi So with, uh, with regards to that, sabi nga, the Department of Health is actively monitoring the situation, collaborating continuously with international health authorities. Despite media narratives of pneumonia clusters, there is no evidence of novel pathogens or a typical clinical presentation. So, pag sinabing a typical clinical presentation, it's not the usual presentation of your pneumonia sa asa. So, kapag pneumonia, kasi ang typical dyan is it starts with a cough, then with presentation of fever. So, that is typical. Uh, seen also in uh, cases of COVID, diba? But uh, usually the fever is uh, spiking, and then yung cough is very productive. Um, usually, they respond with uh, the usual antibiotics na ginibigay 
So even uh, the oral antibiotics, they respond well and they usually recover after siguro uh, three days of the antibiotic use. So pag nakagamot na sila na ng tatlong araw, uh, they would start uh, to notice na meron ng improvement sa kanilang symptoms. So that's the typical course of a respiratory illness like your pneumonia. Sa so colds naman, yun, starts with a, a runny nose, syempre. Uh, it might present with a frontal headache and fever depending on it. If it's bacterial or uh, viral, pwede rin kasi mag-fever of viral. So, kung uh, the common cold is also one, is a viral illness. Kapag nagkaroon ka ng presentation nito, usually self-limiting ang mga viral pathogens. Um, si COVID, very atypical kasi minsan wala kang symptom. Pero meron kang presentation of anosmia, um, loss of taste, di ba? Yung mga ganong symptoms na not common in patients with uh, with the usual common cold, no? Or rhinitis, or rhinosinusitis. Sa, sa rhinosinusitis din, uh, usually they recover after a week. Kahit even without antibiotic use, kung viral lang siya, self-limiting. Maganda, resistensya mo, gagaling ka agad. Okay. Kung bacterial naman siya, once you take antibiotics again for 3 days, pero kailangan tapusin mo pa rin yung full regimen of like 7 days, gagaling ka eventually. Now, kapag atypical kasi, despite you giving the antibiotics, hindi siya, hindi ka gagaling uh, entirely. Rather, yung, if you have uh, comorbidities like yung hypertension or diabetes, they tend they tend to complicate. Even yung mga heart problems or asthma, they tend to complicate. May studies nga, sabi nga nila, mas uh, nagkakaroon ng um, morbidity or mas grabe yung symptoms kapag patients with asthma and co- contracting COVID. Kaya very uh, particular kami sa history ng patients ng like respiratory illnesses. Kasi kailangan din namin ma-identify kung or stratify siya if the case can be high risk to uh, develop a complicated case or uh, low risk if wala naman siyang other major concerns to identify. Kaya mainam na magpatingin sa doktor so that you would be uh, assessed thoroughly. No? Ano ba nakalagay dito? Okay, our hospital keep keep capacities remain resilient and we recommend China ay, we recommend China for their heightened surveillance of this matter we advise against sharing misinformation and call upon the public to rely on official announcement rely on official announcement so again I'm using the official announcement from the DOH and I'm not sugarcoating it with regards to any additional information yun ang uh, kailangan din natin uh, ma-strengthen. Kasi, if you are uh, reading uh, things that is related to health and, and not coming from a reliable source, medyo mag-doubt ka na. Kasi, uh, the information should come from a official okay, statement from either the Department of Health of the Philippines, kapag dito sa Pilipinas, the World Health Organization, the Center for D- Disease and Prevention Control, or CDC. So, if ever, lalo na kapag international concerns of health. Okay? No pa. So, for safety, we encourage the voluntary use of masks for those with comorbidities and autoimmune diseases. Comorbidities, again, kapag may comorbidities ka, number one, uh, is magkaka- may risk kang mag-cause ng compl- magka-develop ng complication kung meron kang atypical na respiratory illness either as uh, either pneumonia, asthma or rhinite, uh, rhinosinusitis yan. so we, they encourage us to wear mask actually sa biyahe ko tara bawon ako na madami 
Kasi, uh, well, I'm part of the healthcare team. So, it's important for me to protect myself. If, if I am going to rounds, seeing patients. So, always wear a mask, especially if you have comorbidities. And going to public areas that are enclosed. Okay? Never, uh, never put your guard down. Kasi, if you contract any illness that can result resort to complications in the future we cannot we cannot stop that no what we can do is uh, be disciplined enough to uh, abide with prevention ma- uh, measures prevention measures like your like your mask um this one always have a pocket uh, dispenser of alcohol because you know, when you see patients you should always disinfect before you touch the patient during a procedure after uh, touching the patient or before touching the patient uh, before entering the room pala. and then after touching the patient during a physical examination okay and then after going out of the uh, the patient's room kasi it's important for us to observe okay proper hand hygiene now kung wala ka nito look for the nearest sink and uh all so hopefully merong soap doon sa bon kasi hand hygiene is always uh, at par with prevention para maiwasan natin ang transmission, either contact, okay? Kasi kapag ano yung nahawakan mo, tapos nahawakan mo yung mukha mo, nalangkap mo, well, God bless. <laughs> okay, so yun lang naman. Um, for safety concerns, yun nga. The DOH reiterates that there is no need to alarm. For alarm, the government prioritizes the safety of Filipinos and we remain vigilant and provide necessary updates for the public and information. Okay, so may isang statement din dito. Na sumunod eh. Ito. So that's factor ng antecedent from China. From northern China. Yan. Natin. Yan. So what are the facts? Na para lang matanggal natin yung agam-agam. So since mid-October, tumaas daw ang flu-like symptoms sa China. And kaya mahalaga ang always uh, check for schedules of your annual flu vaccine. So, ang flu vaccine natin is quadrivalent. Kung quadrivalent ang sabi dito, uh, apat na strain yun. Okay? And it's usually uh, changing every year. So, annually kasi yan. So, we often use the top four common strains from the previous year para i-add as a uh, vaccine for our uh, for our population no so lumalabas yon tingnan ko nga kung kayan um annual vaccine alam ko may particular month eh philippines di ko si maalala anong month okay yeah the annual flu vaccine coincides with the rainy season. It's usually February and June. So you should always ask, okay, if there is already the supply of the quadrivalent vaccine during the months of February and June. That is for next year now. Okay, so for next year, it, you you schedule with your doctor uh, to have your annual flu vaccine. Okay, going back. Yeah. So, in order, November 2023, the WHO noted that the media and the International Society of Infectious Disease of clusters of undiagnosed pneumonia on children's in hospital on selected areas. Okay. So, we're within expected levels based on historical data and not unusual. Okay. So, that's typical pneumonia or typical cases of respiratory illness. Cases increase... Uh, cases increases, case increases were attributed to 
Oh, my coplasma pneumonia. Pneumonia. Typical effects young men. Young children. Actually, it's a mycoplasma pneumonia. That's not typical pneumonia. Respiratory system shell virus, common yan, uh, affecting mga bata. Okay, adenovirus and uh, military camps. Influenza, it's a typical corporate of flu in the entire world. The CDC on chi China clarifies that no changes in disease presentation were observed and no unusual or novel pathogens were detected. Enhanced outpatient inpatient surveillance was likewise, likewise implemented uh, since November, which may contribute to the observed increased detection rate and reporting of respiratory illnesses. So since the mass naman ang surveillance in China with regards to respiratory illnesses, okay, they uh, tried to observe already uh, ahead if may mga emergent strains or something na uh, like yung COVID-like symptom. Wala naman sila nakita. And hopefully, uh, the, the, the news are true. <laughs> um, well, we should rely on the, the the statement from the DOH naman. No specific measures for travelers and on borders control are recommended at this time. So, okay. No specific uh, measures, no? Pero, again, we urge our patients, our friends, colleagues, okay, to always be vigilant and always uh, bring with you yung mga things that would help us protect ourselves from kill, uh, from uh, pathogens that might cause okay conditions like uh, severe respiratory illness like your COVID. So, ingat-ingat pa rin tayo. Kasi we'll never know when will be the next pandemic. It's not that uh, it's important for us to know when. It's important for us to know how can we prevent the next pandemic. No. So for the past two years, uh, we have uh, endured a lot. We've uh, seen people pass by because of the uh, COVID pandemic and we hopefully learned from our lesson and identify what is the correct information for us to absorb and detect okay the misinformation that we must avoid okay so hanggang doon lang naman yung video ko for today hopefully tomorrow ang sabi sa akin i'm duty so Kung duty ako, meaning baka hindi ako makapag live on Sunday. Sabado pala bukas to. Anyway, pero feel ko baka may, may mag-stream ako mga around lunch time. And hopefully, gawin natin to regular kasi gusto ko din naman mag-add ng additional medical information for my uh, for the people especially for my friends and uh, I would like to thank also uh, some of my friends <laughs> online um, you should always you should also subscribe to later I think my alas uh, mornings with uh, Vincent Ira uh, Doc Ira is a internist and is also uh, a uh, a vlogger <laughs> and also uh, Sir Vince or aka Mang Temyong uh, a law student uh, and their videos are interesting especially if you are uh, trying to reflect on your morning enjoy it with a cup of coffee enjoy it with breakfast because fun positive full of uh, good vibes also uh, check out uh, other videos uh, from our uh, armados <laughs> see actually pinapanood ko yung mga yan. Um, they're linked in my YouTube. Uh, makikita nyo na naman sila dyan from time to time. And um, again, this is uh, one way for me to help uh, share correct medical information and avoid medical misinformation. And yun lang naman. Hopefully, this would be irregular from time to time. Uh, this is a transition for me kasi it's... Uh, already uh, in my senior year of residency and hope 
hopefully uh, I want to impart medic uh, a good health literacy uh, mark with people through means of social media kasi ito yung pinaka-accessible sa inyong lahat and um, sana matuloy-tuloy ko especially kahit kapag naging consultant na ako uh, and then again uh, yun lang naman <laughs> thank you again for uh, watching the, this short video and I hope everyone is safe and stay healthy this has been Doc Chris the Scrubby MD and signing out